Good day. This is Peter Kniff from Castlestone Management with comments on the U.S. markets for the week ending August 21st. The Dow Jones snapped a two-week win streak, and the S&P 500 recorded its worst weekly performance since mid-July, as investors had plenty to think about. The spread of the Delta variant seems to be the biggest issue facing investors, as some mask-wearing restrictions were reintroduced. Meanwhile, markets tried to decipher the Fed's next move in front of the Jackson Hole meeting next week, after the July meeting minutes were released, suggesting the central bank would begin slowing its monthly purchases of assets. The Dow Jones finished the week down 1.1% at 35,120.08. The S&P 500 fell six-tenths of a percent to 4,441.67. And the Nasdaq slipped seven-tenths of a percent to 14,714.66. Long-dated Treasury yields posted their largest weekly drop since July as the spreading Delta variant of the coronavirus contributed to a more uncertain outlook for U.S. and global economic growth. The benchmark 10-year Treasury note ended the week uh, at nearly 1.26%, with the 30-year near 1.87%. The ICE dollar index climbed 1% to 93.5% last week, its biggest weekly move in two months and reached levels not seen since November of 2020, benefiting from a fight to safety. Gold prices scored a second straight week of gains despite the rising dollar, as the uncertainty of the coronavirus and the upheaval in Afghanistan moved investors to less risky assets. Yellow metal was higher by three-tenths of a percent last week. Oil prices have fallen for seven straight days and lost 9% on the week, as worries of slowing demand due to coronavirus hit prices. Thanks for listening. Thanks for doing business with Castlestone. Stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.